Hi guys, and today I'm going to read How Many Days to America, a Thanksgiving story. Oh. It was nice in our village till the night till till the night in October what the sol when the soldiers came. My mother and my little sister and me under the bed when I peered out on out the out I could see my mother's feet in their blank black slippers and the great muddy boots of of the soldiers. When they were gone, my father said we must leave right now. Why, I asked, because we do not think the way they think, my son. Hurry, he would not let us take anything but a change of clothes. My mother cried, leave all my things, my chair, I wear where I sat to nurse our children, the bed cover that my mother made, nothing, my father said, just money to buy our way to America. The word America was not new to me, I heard, it whispered between my parents in the restless hours of the night. America, we're going there. Others, too, moved still silently along the secret streets. Boats bobbed in the dark, water off the quay, and men tucked behind their hands, while gold passed from one pocket to another. I must have our wedding ring, my father told my mother, and your garments. My mother took the ring from her finger and the garnets, necklace from its little bag, buried deep in her bundle, she did not speak. My father said we would leave while it was still dark. How many days to America? My little sister asked. Not many, my father said. Don't be afraid. <coughs> the fishing boat was small and there were many people. More kept coming and more we chugged heavily from harbor to open ocean. Can we see America yet, Papa? All the time my little sister asked question. Not yet, my father said. We were in, we were an hour from the sh from shore when the motor stopped. The men crowded the engines. A part is broken that cannot be fixed, my father told my mother, and her face twisted the way it did when she sh closed the door of our home for the last time. The woman made a sail by n nodding cloths closed together and when they pulled it high I saw my father's Sunday shirt blowing in the wind but the sail carried it carried us back toward our own shore and men shot at us from the cliffs at last we got the boat turned in the right direction 
how many days to America now? My little sister asked. More my small one. My father said he held us close. I saw him look at my mother across our heads. Day following night and night day, our food and water ran out and many people were sick. At sunset, my father and mother and sister and I huddled in the bow. Then my father sang as he sang at home. Sleep and sleep and sleep and dream. Tomorrow comes and we shall all be free. That was the only time I was not afraid. By day we finished and shared the catch. When it rained, we caught the water in out. Buckle, I slept and dreamed of home, of food, of my favorite uncle who worked with my father in his shop and who had stayed behind. Sometimes I cried and then my mother would rock me against her. Once we saw a whale, gray and an elephant and covered with barnacles come push us whale my mother called push us to America but the whale did not hear once a boat came roaring close on wings of a foam and we were filled with joy but not for long. Thieves feared moved like bad wind between us. Men scrambled from the other boat to our earth waving their guns shooting for money and jewels. There was little to take but what we had weren't with them. But there was a shout of land and and we crowded the railing but tough we pulled on the sail our boat would go on closer. We will swim for help, my father said, and he and two others jumped into the water. No, my mother cried, but they were gone already. When at last we saw them rise on the green roll of the surf. We saw them carrying to shore. We danced and cheered. But there were soldiers on the rocks. But there were soldiers on the rocks. Everyone was quiet and my mother gripped my hand. They are bringing them back. Three soldiers with rifles came to the small boat. They brought us water and fruit, but they did not speak or smile as they tossed it up to our waiting hand. Was it not the right land, Papa? I asked as the soldiers pulled away. Will, will it not do? It would do, but they will not take us, my father said. My sister tugged at his arm. They don't like us. It is not that he did not explain what was. Our family got two papayas and three lemons and a coconut with milk that Taste like flowers. The sea was rough that night, and my father's song lost itself in the wind. I said the words as the stars dripped and 
turned above our heads. Tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes, and we shall all be free. It was the next day, the tomorrow, that we sighted land. Again, I was afraid to hope. A, a boat came. My mother clapped her hands and bent her head. Was she afraid to hope to? The boat circled us twice, and then a line was throned and we were pulled toward shore. There was such a silence amazing us then such an anxious 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 watchful silence. People waited on the dock. Welcome, they called. Welcome to America. That was when our silence turned to cheers. But how did they know we would come today, my father? Ask. Perhaps people come every day, my mother said. Perhaps they understand how it is for us. There was a shed warm from the sun on its roof. There were tables covered with food through the benches. Crowded, there was room for all of us. Do you know what day this is? A woman asked me. She passed me dinner, please. It is the coming to America day, I said. Today is Thanksgiving. What it is that my little sister was shy, but not too shy to ask her question. Long ago, unhappy people came here to start new lives. The woman said they celebrated by giving thanks. My father nodded. That is the, the only true way to celebrate. We join hands and close our eyes while my father gave thanks that we were free and safe and here can we stay, please? Papa, my little sister asked. Yes, small one. My family said we can stay.